Okay, so weird ass thing, this happened to me. Not even weird, this really random. And wow, I can't believe it happened. So I'm running my normal morning route, in my normal jogging routine, and today I decided to go a different route. Well, I take this different route, and I am getting like lost. Like, I have no idea where I am. I am off trail, I got mud on my feet. So I end up in a residential neighborhood. Don't know how I got there. I don't even know which neighborhood I'm in. I don't have my phone with me left in the car. I don't think I have my car keys. I pop up in someone's backyard and like nonchalantly wave to them, ask them how they doing. And they were surprisingly chill with me walking past their backyard. I'm like, hey. So finally after maybe like a half a mile to a mile walking in this neighborhood, I finally found the main road. But once I got to that main road, I realized, okay, I know where I need to go now. Everything's all good. So I'm running to my car, it's maybe a mile down the road, it's on an incline, I'm breathing hard as hell, and then I'm, I'm basically getting to exhaustion point, because at this point I've been running for maybe about four and a half miles, more than I normally do. But yeah, and there's no sidewalk on this road either, so I'm within like three feet of cars, trying my best not to be hit, but also too, I can't be too far off the road because it's on an incline and I could like fall and slip down to a ditch. And then out of nowhere I see a passport on the ground, at first I run by it, and I'm like, oh, whatever, but then I'm like, eh, I'm gonna go check it out. So I pick up the passport, and I realize that it's still, it's not expired, it expires in 2020, and then I'm like, wow, this is really weird, some guy born in 1945. I'm thinking, dang, for someone to have to have their passport on the ground, they must have been flying to the airport or something. So I'm like, alright, I'll try to take it back to its owner. So I look in the address book once I get back to my car. So I look for a home address in this book, in this passport, once I get back to my car. And then I realize it's already near where I live, down the street. So I'm like, okay, I'll just take it to this person. The GPS told me some wrong direction, wrong house, but I ended up finding out anyway. So I get to this house, I knock on the door. I'm barefoot at this point, looking really weird because my feet are all muddy. And then this lady answers and she's like, can I help you? I'm like, do you know this person? I show him the passport. And then immediately she like tenses up. And I'm thinking, oh my god, like this, this is weird. Because the house already looked like something out of a horror movie. So that was my first kind of like, okay, this is really awkward. But I just assumed it was an old person, it's an old house. But then she's like, oh my god. She didn't talk after like five seconds after I showed her. So the first thing she said to me was, oh my god, this is my dad. And like, he died literally last Sunday. At this point, I'm like, wow, like, okay, maybe I was meant to be lost today to give this person this passport. Immediately, she starts thanking me. She's kissing this passport, asking me how I got to this address, and I let her know, uh, like, your father wrote it down in his passport. Yep, and then after maybe a minute of her just nonstop thanking me, you know, I <laughs> sent my condolences to her, sorry for your loss. Then I went on my way. Yeah, I mean, I had to run more because I didn't know where I am. So I took it as an opportunity to kind of explore the neighborhood, check it out, and then find a new route for running, possibly. And I think it was because my whole positive look and the whole situation led to a positive outcome. And I'm glad for that. So to wrap it up, if you ever lost, <laughs> look at it positively. You never know what could come out of it. Thank you.